So we're outside now a little later than our usual times to start working on the truck, but I figured I'd start another project on this. I just want to clean up the valve cover. There's a bunch of loose paint on it. I keep popping the hood for people at shows and everything, and you know, just anything I can do to clean up the engine bay would help. So we're going to start that. So like I said, it's a little later at night, but you can see, you know what I mean? There's just black paint peeling right off it. There was purple paint on it at one point. I feel like if I just take a wire brush to it and just clean it up, it'll make it look a little a little cleaner in here. I still gotta mess with the wires and do some wire management, but I felt like this was a good place to start. All right, so I'm back out here, it's the next morning. I'm gonna undo the 10 millimeter bolts that are holding in this wiring harness so I can get to this side of the valve cover. And then I'm gonna sand it down with some really fine sandpaper and try to polish it up a little bit. So since I'm already out here, I figure I might as well clean up the master cylinder. It's all painted purple at one point, but I think we can get it to shine just like the valve cover. So here we are, I just polished it all up. It's got such a nice shine to it now. And then I just touched up on the master cylinder a little bit. I got a little bit more paint to scrape off the back of that. And I wiped down some stuff inside the engine bay. I still got a really long ways to go with that. Hopefully next I can really start working on my wire management. But really happy with how this came out. I'll throw up a before and after photo. So sure enough, I pull into Walmart. Next thing you know, I see Mike parked right across from me. Just made it down to Seacoast Cars and Coffee. I'm super excited to finally get my truck out here. And right here, we got all the bag trucks laid out. Checking out this truck. He's got this red bed liner put up in here, and you know the raised bed and everything. And inside, he's got this super nice red interior with like diamond stitch seats and everything. What a really cool truck to come across. It's a bagged Camry with the plate that says Slamry. There's actually only a limited run of these Broncos. They were used in the Baja 1000. Here's a cool car you don't see in the wild too often, a Daytona Charger. Just ran across this Buick GNX. Grand National number two. Right here we got an old Pierce. All right, so we came across this old Sylvia. This is a car to definitely take some time and check out. This car right here's got a lot of real raw Japanese history behind it. It's an S14 with kind of an American styled nose because in Japan they love USDM stuff as much as we love JDM stuff in America. So that's why it's got this charger front nose kind of looking kit. It's all by Rocket Bunny though. Came across this bag 64 Impala. The sound set up in the back of the 64. I was excited last time to see four DeLoreans. Eight, nine, nine DeLoreans here. This is just crazy. Look at this one too, we got a nice red one. Seriously, what an unbelievable sight to see nine DeLoreans in one place. I really wanted to take note of this red one especially. Here's a cool shot you don't see too much. Here's an older style NSX. And right there we got the newer style NSX. Back at the Cars and Coffee store in the mall. And we have this nice, real old school red NSX. It's a cool store to see in the mall. Another one of those hidden gems that Shelby worked on. It's another little Dodge Dakota, but it's a Shelby. Nice pair of Toyotas right here. We got an MR2 and then an old Supra. 